This is Twit. We get thousands of robocalls, and I'd like to buy a device so much that Ugh. would, hey, when, when, the, when the phone would ring, and then it would say, press one to leave a, me- you know, press one to get to the person. So if I could do that, I know half these robocalls would just fall off. Is there, yeah. Are there any machines that force you to... To press a number? There, I don't. I'm sure there are machines, but I'm going to give you some solutions that are purely digital. Uh, I well, it's not perfect. Uh, I use Google Voice to do this, but the problem with that—that's a free service from Google. You can have, but you'll get a new number, and that new number is the number you want everybody to use, and that has all sorts of nice features. In fact, any digital switchboard service and there are many of them grasshopper and uh, ring central and i can go on and on and on any one of these will allow you to do things like screen calls so with my google voice if somebody calls me that is not in my address book it says what's your name <laughs> they record their name and then it rings my phone and it says oh you know paul's on the line and I can decide whether to answer it or not. And you're right. That works wonders to get rid of robocalls, mostly because robots don't do anything. They just sit there. However, the problem with that is it's not your current number. It's a new number from Google Voice. Although, if you're willing to spend some money, I think it's $10, $20, they will port your number to Google Voice. So you could take your existing home phone number. Make it a Google Voice. Oh, as a one as a one time do one that one shot deal. Yeah, you can port it out as well. This is required by the FCC number portability. The, then I wanted to recommend a service that might be better than that, which is called Nomo Robo N O M O R O B O dot com. The downside of this is you have to share your phone number with them. Calls go through them, and the and it, people who use it love it. it you won't get any more robo calls. No Mo Robo. That, has, that probably has a monthly fee, where yeah. Google Voice doesn't, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's not too expensive. Google Voice is free, a one-time fee if you want to port your phone number over to it. I actually love Google Voice. To me, Google Voice solves all my problems. It's the number I give out. It's the number on my business card. It has. You can have different voicemail messages for different groups of people. So I have one voicemail message for family, one for friends, one for business associates. I have if if they're not in my address book, you can actually just say, "Duh, I don't want to get any calls that are not in my address book." Or you can ask them to announce themselves. There's a lot of really right. So if it's a doctor or somebody, then they would announce. Them yeah, it's the only thing that drives me crazy. My doctor uses call blocking. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't. If it were up to me, I would never answer an unidentified call, right? I want to know who's calling, and if I don't recognize the number, I'm not going to answer it. But but unfortunately, with blocked caller ID, I have to answer it because because my physician will call with blocked caller ID. I wish he wouldn't. Yeah. There's some good solutions for you though. Everybody's dying from this, you know, robo calling thing. It's just it's a terrible situation. The FCC's not really doing a very good job of preventing it, so we've got to do our own thing. No Mo Robo. Hey, well, great. Yep. I'll either try that or Google Voice. Thanks. I love Google Voice. I do. There's a little learning curve, but not much. It's the easiest of all these digital switchboard uh, products. Leo Laporte, the tech guy. Well, it turns out, uh, I'm I, one of the reasons I love doing this show is I learn every single day, every single day, there are hardware call blockers. So I have a couple for you. Uh, there's one from callblockerusa.com called the CPR call blocker. It's uh, $89.99. I love the big red button that says block now. The idea is you put this, uh, hook this up to your phone jack and then hook it up to a phone. It works great with a wireless phone as well as wired. It blocks robocalls. It has a 5,000 number database that's pre-programmed in there. I don't know how useful that would be because, of course, these guys can spoof their numbers. They, in fact, the latest thing is to come from your area code, sometimes even your exchange, you know, the first three digits of your phone number. The, the idea is it tricks you. Oh, that must be my neighbor calling. No. No, it's a scam. Uh, they allow you to block international calls, private calls, out-of-area calls. Blocks calls from weird numbers. Every once in a while, I get calls from zero zero zero. You ever get those? This will be blocked. So that's eighty nine ninety nine per phone. 
per phone, of course. But if you have a cordless phone, you can put your cordless phone base into this, and then all the cordless phones would work. And then there's a company called Digitone. I haven't tried either of these. I'm not recommending. I'm just mentioning them. Although, based on the reviews, I think they both work. Digitone Communications makes also a call blocker, the Pro Series Blocker. Block any call from anywhere. That's $80. So there are hardware solutions in addition. I know about the digital ones because I actually don't have a landline phone. Well, I, that's not technically true. I have a landline phone for our burglar alarm, but I don't ever use it. These days, people don't. I think when you move, you really think twice. Do I need a landline? And I think there are reasons for emergency reasons. 911 works better with a landline and so forth. But uh, we're all paying for, many of us <laughs> are paying for mobile phones. Why have that and a landline, right? My phone works everywhere. 